There are so many different RVs, uh, well over a thousand. We're going to be rather serendipity in what we show, kind of the things that catch our eye. Unfortunately, there's a lot of things that catch our eye. In fact, haven't you been telling me to close my eyes? Yes, I have, a couple of times. So, Okay, one of our followers named Ed asked us to shoot something called the Platinum 4 from Coach House, and it's right here. And this is new, so let's go look at it, Ed. All right, Ed, you ask. Okay. Now, Coach House uh, makes a really high quality class C. I mean, there's, I don't, I think they're, they're pretty hard to beat. And you can just see coming in right away. And this is the bedroom in the back. Isn't that nice? Big queen bed on a slide. See the slide? There you go. And uh, here's a shower. Nice shower. And uh, the bathroom is right here. Got to operate it with one hand. There we go. Oh, one of those fancy new sinks. Ceramic toilet. And how long is the wait for this? Two years to get two, one of these. Two years. Two years. What's a rough idea of the cost? What'd they say? I think about two fifty. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Boy, this is quality. Now, if you get it on a Ford chassis, it's three months. Three months? Yeah. Oh. Ed, you did good in telling us to check out that coach house. They are really a beautiful machine. I should point out that this uh, Platinum 4 is on the Ford 450 chassis and the length of this thing is 27 feet. So we first saw this Wingham from Italy uh, at the show last year. They had hoped to have it uh, be available for delivery in the U.S. last year. Alas, that didn't happen. As I look at it for the second year, I can see why people like it. It's only getting better. Let's go inside. So what do you like about this thing? What I like about this thing, this beautiful RV, is how light and bright it is. It's very welcoming. This huge window that opens up, you can get some air and cross ventilation with the window on the other side. This is very attractive. That it's, it's just pretty. And the bed is up here. It drops down. You can tell this is comfortable just by looking at it. There are extra seat belts, which I'm a big person in believing in four seat belts minimum. Thank you. And this lowers and uh, makes into a bed, I'm sure. It's just, um, it's very attractive. Oh, self-closing drawers. Well, it's a nice bathroom, big sink. This is a cassette toilet, and you empty it through the outside. It, it does seem wide, but I guess what I'm attracted with this thing is how nice this would be to run around town in as, as a vehicle. It's, it's not that much bigger than really a, a, a small truck or even, you know, a minivan. And you've got room to sleep eat uh, everything you need right in here and it looks like there's a rod up here for some sort of curtain drapery yeah. and it looks like a shade on the other side yes it is a it's a nice screen over here but you lift it up and you have privacy in terms of storage lots of stuff up here very nice and then um, there's like a wardrobe there let's take a look at that lots of room here got an upper part for that wardrobe with the hanging rod and a lower part for your shoes and clothes and stuff like that and this of course is on the um, the Fiat chassis very nice what this feels like is nice and clean bright and open and cheerful See this, this is from a company called Spacecraft and it's in a partnership with Volta, the lithium battery people. This thing is huge, it's 54 feet uh, long. It holds 485 gallons of fresh water. It has 10,000 watts of solar up on the roof and it's the largest lithium battery configuration on any RV ever. Uh, it has over 108,000 watt hours. Now what that means is that this thing can live entirely self-sufficient off the grid 
totally energy independent for not a couple of days, not a week, but for weeks at a time. And it's beautiful inside. So this bedroom, it's really nice, but it's also uh, pretty cool because this whole thing lifts up and this is a garage underneath that you can bring your EV, I guess, if you want. This is incredible. 54 feet long. Hey, hey Mike, you think it was tough parking ours? Look at this. You think you can get a job here? Well, yeah, you got, what, at least six inches you can work with. Good grief, that's close. Uh, probably the hottest name this year in the RV industry was Brinkley. And this is the company. It was started by some true pioneer uh, RV industry veterans who made some of the most successful RVs anywhere. If we told you their pedigree, it's just amazing. And they brought a lot of their friends who have years of experience, and they are producing what may well be the ultimate in fifth wheels and toy haulers. They've got two models, and it's gonna be hard for us to show you because so many people are here. Uh, but we're gonna do our best. We are really looking forward to going through this because they've won all sorts of awards and there's quite a crowd here. This isn't an easy one to get into. But we'll so try, huh? <laughs> yeah, we'll try, try and show, you'll see a lot of people in these, these shots, but uh, you'll see that. And also we're gonna get a chance to visit with uh, one of the owners. I like the black frame mirror, the black frame shower, the black faucet, black sink, and then the gold accessories, the gray. They are all on their colors. This is the first time I've seen it. This is a pull out linen closet with adjustable shelves. So, like your arm Perfect. Whoa, it's still going. Uh, we're uh, a startup for all intents and purposes, but um, if you know our pedigree and our history, it's it's far from a startup. We have the best team in the RV industry, bar none. We want to just be a great company that takes care of the customer like nobody else. Look at the size of this kitchen. Uh, you can see the quality. Yeah. Front bedroom. Oh my gosh, is that? Just the decor is stunning. Look at the size of that closet. Air conditioning is on, so that's what you're hearing in the background, as well as all the people. Deep, deep closet. King size bed. You can walk around both sides here. Lots of room to walk around. Winnebago revealed its second prototype of an all-electric RV, ERV2 as they call it. They showed an early version last year, but this one on the Ford Transit chassis with a custom wrap depicting van life scenes is much more advanced. Now understand, this is a prototype. Both the powertrain and the house systems are powered by electricity. Winnebago partnered with Lithionics Battery and features a 48 volt system on this with more than 15,000 usable watt hours. Winnebago says the system will allow an RVer to live unconnected and off the grid, totally energy self-sufficient for seven days. One of the perks of this show is they are allowing people to do test drives. So how cool is that? So, we are going to drive this uh, ERV2, an EV RV. Acceleration is just fantastic, really. It's so smooth. Okay, here it's your turn. 
It may take a while yet, but the EV RV is definitely here. What'd you think of that? I absolutely loved it. <laughs> uh, it was, I mean, the quiet is awesome. Only thing you, the only way you know the engine's running is because of the AC running. So uh, it's a good experience. Now, the challenges, as we've talked about before, are, are pretty obvious. They have to figure out how to get more range than 108 miles. But um, Tesla's figured it out. Some of the other uh, big three uh, EVs, they've figured it out. They're getting more. And I don't think it'll take long for Ford and Winnebago to work that out as well. At least we tested one. Great fun. It was great fun. Thank you, Winnebago, for giving us a chance to see what the EV RV is like. Here is a familiar brand. Road Trek. Pretty much all on the Dodge Ram chassis now. Look at the cool coloring on this one. White and blue. And this Zion in green and white. To line it all up. You see how Oh, this is just too cute. Nice Thule rack on the back. Look who I find lounging. Oh, the colors are in the inside yeah, too. Yeah, the colors are really fun. And look how they have the screen. It's all ready to drop down. This is the new Zion. Spiffy new colors. Good Spiffy for you, Road Truck. And lots of storage up there. I really think this is fun. Road Trek has been around for decades now. Uh, they just make a really nice quality Class B. Uh, we've owned several of them in our past and have just nothing but great memories about Road Trek. Uh, it's kind of fun to see them here at the show. Uh, they've had a couple of different uh, owners and uh, now it's owned by uh, a French company and they are obviously back in big time. Slick new colors and uh, very, very, very practical Class Bs. From a company that has uh, kind of like a a legendary name in the Class B movement. In fact, I think Road Trek really started the whole van life trend. And um, good to see him here at the show. I, I don't think I want you to see this because I'm afraid you're going to want this one. Why? Why would you say that? Because, well, look at that. Because I know you're going to like it. You go up the stairs into a patio, you got a, little a balcony. Wow, that is pretty cool. Watch. Yeah. TV, speaker system, master bedroom. Oh, look at that, an ensuite. Hi, Mike. <laughs> wow, that's a nice shower with the seat. Very nice. That's a king size bed. Very nice. Wow. Big wardrobe area. Bedroom TV. Set up for a washer dryer. Stackable if you'd like. Well, I've got some of hey, my back equipment. Thank Are you sure? Yeah. Right, door. That group. yeah, you have a hidden okay. storage here. I want to demonstrate this for you as well. That's, a, that's that hidden cupboard that we saw on some of the yep. Arcadia units. Uh -huh. Little hidden pantry, big rack of triangular storage, really nice. Here's the kitchen. Soft clothes. Higher. I have a Very um, nice. 34 foot Grey Wolf Cherokee. Uh, Three burner. Uh, yes. Awesome. A couple years. I and this is the toy holder part, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Huge. Then you could put a desk in here. 3,000 pounds. You could load 3,000 pounds in here. 
We could get a couple of motorcycles, tie them down. His and her, why not? We're going to go up from electric bikes to motorcycles? <laughs> well, maybe, if they let us. Okay. Got TV. I, I believe that's a bed. That is a bed. I think that comes down and, and there's a back balcony. But this is actually a ramp. But we need a little, well, it has an awning. I was going to say Bo yeah. needs an awning. Got there is an awning. Next thing Bo wanted Why screened in. showing me these things? I love them all. I, I, I knew this was what you would like. This is the Fusion and uh, 44 feet and the show price is 114. About 114, it's normally 167. 44 feet long. This thing is nice. It's a toy hauler. I never thought we would even consider a toy hauler. We don't have some toys. Hey, but it's a great excuse to get some toys. I could get some motorcycles, golf carts, kayaks. That what he said was the class. Hmm. I can see where this is going. You're going to need a one-ton truck. Yes, I absolutely. I think it's time for us to go look at some other RVs. Let's go. Oh, man. I kind of really like this thing. This is really nice. This is, hmm. Like a Yeti nice bathroom, nice showers, separate shower, everything you need, a big refrigerator, lots of storage, we've got drawers, little cubby holes, places to put your everything, nice stove with an oven, wow, they packed a lot into here, oh, good cutting board. You know, this is four seasons, I mean, wow, true four seasons. Wow, that would... That would be nice to have. Not to have to winterize. And of course, pull your little curtain to go into the cab part. And I'm sure this makes into a bed. You can use this as your desk for work. Nice bed. Doesn't that look comfortable? I like this. Yeah. And look at the, uh, the way they've done up. storage on the sides, on the oh. sides of this thing. And so the drawers TV. go up that way. Little TV is back here, and it's got an arm on it so you can swing it around. This is everything you need, and I think it's it's great. You can use it for a season. Does it get any better than that? Not to have to winterize, not to have to have that threat of uh, inclement weather. This is pretty cool. They've put a mirror on the a full a full length mirror on the on the refrigerator. Who is that handsome guy anyway? <laughs> I really like this. Four season. You got the truck. I don't know how hard this is. We gotta need a new truck. We're gonna, we need a different truck. I've only got a three quarter ton. Come on now. You know, Jen, you can't have everything you see. The only thing you got going in your favor, because I really like that, is that we would have to get a larger truck. <laughs> well. Now that's, a, that's what you <laughs> hmm. are. You can get your. You a can't have truck. a large enough truck, as no, far as I'm concerned. Never too big of a truck. So we're at the. Gretsch RV display and uh, we've seen these guys for the past couple of years but the reputation for these Gretsch RVs all in the Sprinter chassis is, is phenomenal. Stainless steel bolts that they use to put it together. High quality. High cost. They're like $250. Uh, that's probably a pretty average price but they are beautiful Class B vans on the Sprinter chassis. And we're going to take you in kind of the flagship, uh, the Strata Ion. And uh, well, I, I don't even know if I can if I can begin to show you the quality of this thing, but Gretsch RV, if you have not checked them out and you're interested in Class Bs, you got to see it. So Jennifer's going to walk you in, and we'll see. It starts with four seats, Jen. Yeah, four seats. Four seat belts. Oh, and seat belts back there as well. So, uh, I like it. It's neat, clean, crisp. Sofa bed. Big kitchen. Uh, and this, of course, is this beautiful uh, uh, Mercedes uh, Sprinter dashboard with the huge display for navigation. Great comfort seats, all the bells and whistles. Uh, TV up front. Um, really quality cabinets. I like those latches. Oh, look at that hardware. Uh, here's your battery control stuff. Really nice. Your DVD built in, not just banging around out there like so many people have. That's a substantial cabinet. Listen to it. Latched. 
and then more storage over here and look it's all felt insulated so things aren't rattling around if you got dishes in there they're not bouncing around and making noise beautiful countertops induction uh, cooking you got this all becomes part of the I don't know if that's a it's a near king size if not a full but great quality really comfortable seat belts all around so you can take people with you more storage up here and again you can see nothing is going to bounce around in there control here <laughs> this is for the shades this is amazing this is really nice the bathroom let's open the bath and see what that's like this is always the that's big it. test yeah you have to open it there we go ceramic toilet big sink nice faucet this is very nice you said the dual burners and a nice deep wow. sink wow country sink stainless nice beautiful nice little blue ambiance all of them have blue lights and i had to ask about that because i thought maybe you could make them white or you know at least white and blue but they went with the blue because it's supposed to help us sleep really mm -hmm. so all of the bands have blue lights well there you go gretch rv um, they uh, they have a well-deserved reputation for super quality in a class B. Well, we got one. This is the Embassy SL, and um, Jennifer's already in there. Jen! Yeah? So what's it like in there? Well, I think you got to come in and see it for yourself. We're going to start with the master bedroom. As you can see, this is nice and thick and comfy. This bed is a full-size bed, but it can accommodate a person that's six feet, six inches. Let me show you what this can do. You can access storage easily. This one will also do the same thing. And then I have a massive open storage. And it also has storage underneath for folding bikes and things like that as well if you don't want to turn the bed into something else. When this one folds up, this turns into a desk. It just does all sorts of things back here very easily. This is obviously the galley, uh, real Corian countertops, very nice. Uh, and look at the size of the sink. Now the thing that I am most impressed about this is that it has uh, an ozone water purification system. So all the water that you are going to consume has been sanitized. I gotta say, I have never seen such a nice pantry in a bee. Look at this. Is that nice or what? One, two, three, four. Storage room. Ready to look at the refrigerator, a 6.8 cubic foot refrigerator, which is nice. And uh, we have a drawer freezer. Okay, everybody out there, have you noticed the extra seat belts? I have two extra seat belts, two over there, so possibly six seat belts. This will pull out at night and make a queen size bed. This is the second bedroom. Embassy is building its RVs on the Transit 350 heavy duty chassis, all wheel drive. Uh, the wait time, well, if you order about now, it's probably running close to about eight months. Wow, that was so much fun and so educational. I just loved it. So let's, uh, we save the best for the last because uh, everybody wants to know how much they cost. And I think as much as that innovation that we just showed you is cool, um, we should tell you that the most amazing thing is the cost of these vehicles, $152,000. Now we just came back from the Tampa RV show and almost everything we saw was well over $200,000. All the bees, the latest bees, this is 152 grand and uh, they've built with all these upgraded materials we should also tell everybody that they didn't sponsor this we just uh, have been uh, in touch with this uh, company for a number of years and uh, we wanted to really do a story on their innovation and uh, so much uh, to share that we didn't have time to tell you about <sighs> it's another one that you want right <laughs> <laughs> you want everyone you see. I do. All right. Hey, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy trails.
Thank you.